Hi, my name is Francis and nobody knows I'm the world's cheapest millionaire. Some of these things that I talk about are a bit questionable. Save money at your own risk. Before I begin, hit that like button. It will help me pray to the YouTube gods. This video is brought to you by Mint Mobile. If you want to save money, you use Mint Mobile because it costs as little as $15 a month and it works great. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. You can use less water just by sticking something inside your toilet. For example, a brick or a little trash can with some weights in it like this. Now, every single time you flush, you're going to use less water. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. It just means don't flush it if you're doing number one. Just let it accumulate over there. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of smell, but you save about a penny each time you don't flush this adds up this is my dishwashing sponge it is still kind of usable i use it until maybe half of this is gone until there's like a little smidgen left i'm like all right it's finally used up all the little foam pieces has fallen off and okay i can finally throw it away i do have a new one over here i'm about to use i have what appears to be a fancy foam hand wash but what no one knows is i put liquid hand soap in here instead fill it about a quarter of the way and the rest you just fill it up with water you shake it around and it becomes foam hand wash it doesn't have as good a smell as the original hand wash but it works see it's all foam coming out like that. It's foam. Whenever I go on vacation, I don't only put my water heater on vacation mode. I turn it off completely. This is important to completely cut off all the gas so that the water heater is not using any at all. I just came back from a hotel and I take all consumables. I don't take towels or anything because that's considered stealing. Toilet paper, you can take home. Tissue paper, you can take home. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, you can take home. As you can see, I have a few over here left over from a different hotel that I went to. And basically, I bring all these back I use these up before I go and use my own shampoo and conditioner. And this way, it makes my shampoo and conditioner last almost forever. I never have to buy any almost. To avoid suspicion of being a freaking cheap millionaire, you have to take all the consumables at the very end. And hopefully no one else is around. You just, you know, store all this and put it in your luggage and no one would know. One time my friends came over just to wash up a little bit. It wasn't their hotel room or anything. It was my own and I was about to leave and they insisted on coming up. And when they came over, they're like, where's all the soap? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. So remember to take your consumables when no one is looking. And if people are going to visit you, you got to make sure to put everything back to where it was, including the bar soap, because that's what people would need to use after they use the restroom. These are the remnants of a whole chicken. I buy whole chickens at $2 a pound or so, and I cut them up myself. When you buy chicken breast by itself, it costs as much as $8 a pound. Why buy $8 a pound when you can buy the whole chicken at $2 a pound? Nobody's gonna know. How will they know? How will they know? When I do laundry, the less soiled it is, the less detergent I put in. I don't go by the markers on these little caps. For example, I might use half as much for a load of laundry. After it comes out, it's perfectly clean. It smells the same. And in order to save more, you zip up all your zippers from your hoodies, the zippers in your jeans, and you flip your jeans over just to make all your clothes last that much longer. When it's washing, the metal teeth sometimes just grinds against your other fabrics and makes it a lot older very quickly. You also want to unbutton everything so that the fabric doesn't pull on the buttons and eventually they come loose. These dryer sheets, it turns out they're kind of toxic. So I'm trying to not use them anymore. It turns out I don't even really mind that there's a bunch of static after I dry my clothes so I don't even use any dryer sheets at all now. I'm able to clean everything up with just the broom. Sometimes you might want to wet the floor that's why you might want to use a but those are extremely expensive. Why use one of those when you can use a plain old regular mop? It works very very well. Just one sheet of those things might cost you like 50 cents or so but a mop it's going to last you basically forever. I ran out of dishwasher detergent. So sometimes I would just use regular dish soap. You just give it a little squirt, not even fill up all of it and close. And there you go. This batch over here is indeed washed with just a little squirt of dish soap. You can see it's perfectly clean. No residue at all. 
you don't actually have to buy one of those plaques that says clean or dirty. You have to pay money for that, five or $10, right? Why I need that when you can use a piece of cardboard and just write clean and dirty, right? Okay, it works. No one has to know if someone comes over, just take it off and, you know, put it away. See, all clean. In the winter time, I would just put on a sweater and set my thermostat down to about 66 degrees. No one has to know if no one's coming over, but if someone comes over, I would magically turn it back up to, well, 73, 74. No one has to know. This is my toothbrush and I use just one bead of toothpaste. Like that. This is all you need. The ads tell you, you have to put toothpaste along the entire head of the toothbrush. You don't actually have to do this. For contacts, I actually don't replace the solution because it's in there already. It's still effective. And if I put my contacts in and it's a little low, I add more solution back in. But this means that the contact solution might have a little bit of debris in it. So when I take it out, I wash it with a saline solution. Saline solution is a lot cheaper than multi-purpose solution. It's about half the price. And this washes away all the dirt. And I try to let all the debris and stuff settle at the bottom. So you definitely don't want to dig your hand in there to get your contact. I just kind of reach on the top and just skim it off the top. I also use my two week contacts for as long as possible until they feel uncomfortable. The way to make them last longer is every time your eyes feel like it's dry, take them out immediately because that is when it tears a little bit. There could be microscopic tears on the outer edge and this is why your contacts gets ruined. And as soon as I feel this, I replace them with a new set. Also, if you ever fall asleep, this is one way to ruin your two week contacts. So don't fall asleep in them, wet them if your eyes are ever dry by taking it out, put it in the solution and then, you know, just put them back on. <laughs> We're back in the shower again and I got shampoo and conditioner and I have to admit, even these samples one have been sitting here for about a month or so. How come they last so long? It's because I only wash my head about once a week or so. The rest of the time, I just rinse it with water. Washing your head less is a lot healthier for your scalp. Your scalp will adjust to it as soon as you wash it less for about two weeks or so. The less you wash your head, the more money you save. If you wash it once a week compared to daily, all of a sudden your shampoo and conditioner is gonna last seven times as long. This is gonna save you enough to probably retire. How about using your credit cards at group events? Let's say you get 5% cash back at restaurants. There's 20 people, each person needs to pay $50, but if you pay the entire bill of $1,000, your cash back is gonna be $50. You get a free meal right there. Now, this is a bit controversial because if you're amongst a group of friends that are all very cash back savvy, they are also gonna to want to use their credit cards instead of yours. Or if it's an expensive meal, they want to use their credit card, maybe split it in two. If you are the host, you have priority to pay for everyone and request money back via Venmo or Cash App. But there's a danger to this because if you have a bad apple in there somewhere, someone that is not gonna pay you back, well, this ruins your entire plan. Now, I do not actually think this is a great way to try to get free meals from all your friends. If it happens to be that way, then great, you can get a free meal. But I think it is not a good thing to try to do this you know, keep on inviting people out every single month. It works out best if you take turns using your credit cards. So that way the cashback bonus gets evenly distributed. As a Dogecoin millionaire and regular millionaire, I don't buy trash bags. These plastic bag things, it's just all over the place. When you go to the grocery store, you get plastic bags from buying vegetables. My trash right here, look, this bag right now is actually from cheesesteak takeout. It happens to be big enough so that I can kind of wrap it around this trash can and free bags just keeps on coming my way. And I usually accumulate more than I can actually use. We're back here again and some of my friends would not shower at home. They wait until they are at work because their work has free showers. For me, I like to shower in the morning because on the way to work, I don't want to feel uncomfortable. Sometimes they have free electric car chargers at work or at the mall, and I use these as much as I can. Sometimes I might leave my car there overnight to charge, and you might save somewhere between 18 and $20 if you charge between 10 and 90%. Let's talk about napkins here. They're not too expensive. This whole roll might cost you, what, a dollar? But it's still my habit to not toss all the napkins away that were given to me if I have fast food at a restaurant and instead of throwing them away I would often just fold them up put it in my pocket and bring it home and after I bring it home I toss it right in the middle of the dining table and those are the napkins I would use first 
I use those first before I go and dig into my paper towel. And this one has lasted me for months. If you do this, you're probably never ever gonna have to buy paper towels again. They give away plenty of napkins. Warning here though, is I don't recommend stealing napkins, right? Just take whatever that is given to you. They're going to give you a big stack of it, okay? Just bring those home. I'm not talking about going to their napkin dispenser and sticking your finger all the way in there and go, ah, I'm gonna take out a big bunch of it. Yeah, no, don't do that. It's all about not wasting, really. And to prevent people from knowing that you're so frugal, if people are coming over, you put these napkins from outside away. So they are not using it. Guests use these premium <laughs> fresh napkins, okay? Of course, if you make a video about it, I think everybody's gonna know. You guys wanna see my condiments drawer? <laughs> Here it is. I got all kinds of condiments left over from eating out and I just saved them. Again, I have to emphasize don't take extras. Not like at Taco Bell, they just let you take as many as you want and you take your whole hand and take them all. No, you don't do that. All of these is from what they put in my bag and I didn't even request extras. In college, I actually had a roommate that likes to concentrate all the ketchup packets into a bottle. I think that's just a waste of time. Just keep them in a drawer somewhere and if you need to use some ketchup, pick one up and use it. Kind of gross if you have to squeeze it out because it might get contaminated and it can get moldy that way. But if it's in a sterile package like this, then it can last a lot longer. I hope you guys enjoyed these ways to be cheap as a millionaire. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.